All right, so we have just set up our new grind wheel. Our wheel data is all right here. We've just put in the diameter there. And I just moved the machine over to the diamond in the back here to teach its position. Just pressed teach so it knows where it is. So we're ready to go ahead and create a little dress cycle. So I'm gonna go ahead with the grind setup. I'm gonna turn on the wheel head. Um, for this demonstration, we're gonna leave the coolant off and I'm gonna go ahead and turn the work head off. Add that to the job. Now we want a dress cycle. So I'm gonna go ahead and start one of these cycles that already comes up here. Um, for this, I'm just gonna take a tenth of a thou off and we'll do three passes. So a tenth of a thou per pass. Um, and everything else here, we're gonna go 10 inches per minute. We'll add that to the job and we'll end a cycle. Um, that's gonna be our cycle. So we're just gonna dress to the positions we just dressed. And we just did a basic um, dressing wheel circumference cycle there. So I'm gonna go ahead and post. We're gonna name our file. It generates it. There you can see it's just gonna come in, come down and um, dress on that diamond. So with that, we'll go ahead and just press cycle start. Okay, so now since our wheel is dressed, we're gonna go ahead and calibrate our part that is loaded in there at this point. We're gonna to go to the calibrate tab and I'm gonna go ahead and tur turn on the work head. And now I'm gonna jog into the position that basically zero, zero for my X and Z. So I'm just eyeing up, making sure it looks good as I move it in. All right, now I'm ready to go ahead and zero my Z. I'm up to the shoulder where I wanna start my grind, so I'm gonna zero my Z. And then I'm going to go ahead and teach the machine for my X position, because I'm just touching the material. Make sure I'm still touching. And now I'm gonna back up and we'll actually measure that part. All right, now we're gonna go ahead and stop the work head. Let me measure this. I'm gonna just type that in right on the screen here. One point five two zero, and now I'm going to update my position. And it'll calibrate the x-axis to know the diameter of the part as I'm creating my program. Now we're going to go ahead to the conversational and I'm going to create a new file here. This time on the grind setup, we're gonna turn on the work head also at 150 RPM. We're also gonna do a cylindrical grind now. And I already have it a traverse grind with end feet in both swing positions selected here. I'm gonna set my allowance to zero, my increments to a tenth of a thou, and we'll just do our end feed at one inches per minute. 
My start diameter was 1.52, about there. And my finish diameter gonna be 1.519. Actually, I'm gonna take off a little less. There we go. And my start position, I'm gonna start at Z0 and I'm gonna go an inch and a half to the swing position two and my feed rates there should be good. I'm gonna go ahead and add that to the job, add our end cycle, and I'm gonna post and make sure that that looks right. Create a name for the file. There we go, that looks right. I'm gonna go ahead and let's grind this part. Just as I'm coming in, I'm gonna slow it down to make sure it looks right. There we go. 